did to drop kicks, they looked like they were out of a movie. And I was like, Why, hello there, everyone. My name is Alyssa, and welcome back to this glorious YouTube channel. So, today, um, I'm going to start wrapping up my G1 series. So, like I said, I do an A block and a B block. Um, so, tonight, it's going to be nights 9 and 10. We're almost done. Um... I kind of want to do videos every day leading up to Power Struggle for this. Because I think it could be fun. But I don't know how that's going to work because marketing stuff. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Um. So, yeah. Today, we're going to start wrapping up. Um. So, I guess, if you don't know what the G1 is... I, or if you haven't seen any of my other G1 reviews and you still want to go back and watch them, I'll have them all in cards, like on the side, there, right around right here, um, and yeah, so I guess, shall we get the show on the road? First match on our list is Yujiro Takahashi versus Shingo Takagi. Um, this match was okay. Didn't think it was that bad. Very surprising for Yujiro. But, I mean, also, you're in the ring with Shingo. So, of course, regardless, you're going to get a decent match. Because Shingo knows what he's doing. So, and Shingo can pretty much just work with anyone. We love that for him. Um, and Yujiro actually was kind of selling and kind of trying in this match kind of surprised so it worked well I mean obviously I mean I guess when you're in the ring with someone like Shingo kind of have to otherwise it's just no you can just tell that the uh, the other person is not trying so kind of had to try I guess a little bit um Shingo is so good Yes, Shingo is amazing. Shingo is a go, honestly. Like, for real. Shingo is a go, and y'all don't want to talk about it. I, it annoys me, because Shingo deserves to be talked about more. And I don't understand why y'all don't. But, that's beyond me. So, I gave this match a three. Thought it was okay. It was kind of there. In the middle ish, you know, not too good, not too bad. Um, and Shingo won, so I guess there's that too. A White versus Jeff Cobb. Y'all, when I heard that this was gonna be, well, obviously it was gonna be a match, I mean, they're in the same fucking block. But when I realized that this match was happening, I was kind of excited once I started seeing Jeff Cobb throughout this G1. Because, like, the fuck, this is going to be a pretty good damn match. Um, and they definitely made sure it was. Um, Jeff Cobb is so athletic. It was, it was crazy. He literally did a top rope spot in this match. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Or he flipped over Jay or something. It was crazy what he did. So that was just like, Holy shit, this motherfucker is big, yet he can do the same shit that, like, fucking Osprey's doing. Jay is so good at selling, though, too. Like, Jay sold for Cobb very well. And, you know, uh, yes, as he should. Jay is just, honestly, Jay's another go, like... Jay is probably the best heel out there right now. Hands down. No opinions to take. It's fact. <gasps> oh! Cobb's drop kicks are insane. When he did his drop kicks, they looked like they were out of a movie. And I was like, How? You look like Okada out there. Make it make sense. Um, I gave this match a 
four. Thought it was really good. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Great pace. Good style mixtures. It was overall anything you'd want out of a match like this. And Jeff Cobb won, which I actually didn't mind. Because, really, I mean, you've got to get wins in for him somewhere. He's too fucking good. And if it's got to be Jay, fine, I guess. <sighs> Don't know why it had to be Jay, but, you know. So next match is Minoru Suzuki versus Kazuchika Okada. More strong style base, I would say, like, shoot, you know, Suzuki style matches. Shoot with, like, strong style and stuff like that. It's basically what I feel like they were mainly doing. And Okada's so versatile that that man can just do it all. Like, hands down, y'all. I don't know how the fuck Okada is so good, but he is, and he's a fucking go. Like, hands down, a go. Okada is so versatile. I was just talking about this. Yes, he is. That man can literally do anything and make it look like he has done it for 10 years. Like, how? No, but Okada is too, like, he can go from doing the flips, the kicks, the tricks, all of it, to doing a Suzuki-style match and making it work and making it look amazing. I don't know how he does it. Someone please tell me. But Okada is so good. Yeah, he is. As I was just talking about. So you know what? I really don't even have to mention this. Um I gave this match a 3.5. I mean, it was solid. Okay, pretty good, I would say. Um, not one of my favorite matches or anything I've ever seen. It was it was fairly in the middle for me, match-wise. So, and Okada won, though. So, you know what? Good for Okada. So, the next match on our list is Taichi versus Tomohiro Ishii. Very strong style base because these are both... I feel like Taichi and Ishii are both more strong style wrestlers. So you're going to get more of the hard-hitting shoot style match with them. And it makes sense. You know, I thought it was pretty good. They're both very good wrestlers. I mean, at least Taichi over the past year has fucking got so much better with his character and everything. And Ishii's just always been good. So, like, you know, you're going to get a solid at least match. It had a really good pace for what they were going for. Um, like I said, it was more of a hard-hitting style. So, you know, I thought it was a great pace for what it was. Had no issues with it. It was fine. Taichi has gotten so much better at being a heel. Yes. Tai I've already kind of said this with his character, but I don't think Taichi got what it meant. But this past year... Like, Taichi has really gotten what it meant to be a heel and to be the bad guy and just be like, fuck you. Taichi's kicks are shh. Bruh, how that motherfucker kicks, I swear. If that don't hurt, then I don't know what does. Those things look like they hurt like a bitch. I, I ain't joking. They look like they hurt like a motherfucking bitch. Like, hands down, they do. Um, that could just be how people sell it to. But guess what? They look like they hurt. So he's doing his job. I gave this match a four because I thought it was really good. Good pace, great style mixture. Obviously, they have similar styles in the first place. Taichi's really gotten better at being, you know, his character work. Stuff like that. And he definitely really tried up against Ishii. And you know what? Ishii won, which I'm also happy about. Because Ishii, like I said, I'm glad that even if 
we all know Ishii isn't going to win the G1. They're not going to give him the championship ever. Sadly, he deserves it. But they won't do it. Gato. Um... You know, I'm glad that they can give him a few wins here and there during the G1. So, now we're on to our main event of the evening. We have Will Ospreay versus Kota Ibushi. So, it started off very strong style. I was very surprised because I thought it was going to be more of like, you know, the pace of like, you know, I thought it was going to be definitely a different pace than what it was at the start. I was very surprised. But I guess, you know, you kind of don't want to wear yourself out like that in the beginning. Figured they would be doing more kicks, flips, tricks, you know, because that's what those two are kind of known for. I feel like against their opponents, sometimes, even though they're both very versatile, it was a decent pace. It wasn't bad or anything. Um, I don't, I just don't know if the match, I mean, I thought it was pretty good. Don't know if it was entirely for me. So it had a good mix of it being high flying and strong style. They went, you know, they did the kicks, the flips, the tricks, but they also just like did the strong style set of it too, which I'm glad that it seems like Osprey's trying to change it up a little. I'm glad. Um, I gave this match a four. I didn't think it was great, but I also didn't think it was like a. F I didn't think it was fantastic, but I didn't think it was a five worthy. And it definitely wasn't a three worthy because I feel like three's mid, and it was a little above mid, you know. So I gave it a four. Um, and the Bushi one, good for him, I guess. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to B Block. And our first match on B Block today is <clears throat> Toru Yano versus Hiroki Goto. Very sneaky. Although, actually, kind of outsmarted Yano here, which you don't typically do. Very, very interesting. See how that one goes. Um, very fast. Um, didn't go on long at all. Um, and go to one. I, yeah, sure, I guess. Don't know why, but it was, uh, they had go to pull a Yano on Yano, which was kind of dumb. I gave it a two, because, I mean... Why the fuck are you going to have Goto, of all people, pull a Yano on a y on Yano? Like, that's stupid. Um, Sonata versus Zack Sabre. Y'all, if there was a match that I was waiting for, this whole G1, this was it. <laughs> yes. This right here was it. It was a masterpiece. <laughs> we love masterpieces. Like, what the fuck? Um, very fast pacing. Um, especially for their styles. I was very surprised. But they also did do a lot of submissions. And they are definitely both submission specialists. It is quite funny seeing these two in the ring together. Um, I, I always enjoy it. Never have I complained about having to see Sonata go up against Zack Sabre because they're both so fucking good at what they do. And it's just, it works so well. They play off of each other so well and have such good chemistry that it's just anytime I can see this I want to see it give me 10 <laughs> or 20 Sonata's agility is fucking nuts his mood of moonsault holy shit that motherfucker can go it is literally the most insane thing like, he's so big, yet you see him doing flips, and it's crazy. I'm like, how? 
I gave this match a five, obviously. You couldn't tell. <laughs> I really like this. <laughs> but then again, I am such like a big Sonata and a big Sonata and Zack fan. It's just like any time that those two can go up against each other too. Hey, I'm here for it. It works for me. And Sonata won. No complaints here. No complaints. None. Zero. Zilch. Match the G1. There you go. Um. So. Our next match on the card. Is Evil. Versus Juice Robinson. I really don't want to talk about this. Okay. Evil started off okay. He was buying the first. Juice kind of made the match, though, for me, to be honest. Like, he was the one that really went for it. And then there's Evil, and it's just like, meh, meh, how? Juice, yeah, like I was just saying, Juice was trying to keep up the pace. He tried. That man tried so hard because for that this whole G1 he's been so excited to even just be doing this and his new character like just I'm in love with Juice's new character I've said this 10,000 bazillion times now but y'all it's the truth Juice really fucking brought it for this match even though evil didn't Juice did and you know what good for Juice if that's what he wants to do for evil I can't complain Try to put him over. Even, but the thing is, it's like I always say, you can't put someone over if they don't want to put themselves over. I gave this match a 2.5 because Juice really tried, and Evil tried a little in the beginning, I guess. But, and also Evil won, so, meh. Sure. Meh. Okay. To the next match. That we have that we have here is Yoshihashi versus Tetsuya Naito. Slow, very slow, hands down. Yoshihashi is so slow, and then Naito can't. It's just it doesn't work because it's not like Yoshihashi can do anything. Number one and number two, Naito has a very specific style. And it just don't work. They don't really try here though, man. Like, he tried to put this dude over. And again, you can't put over someone that doesn't want to put themselves over. I just feel so bad for Naito for having to even do this match. Poor Naito. Just poor Naito. I'm so sorry to Naito. Naito, I'm so sorry for you. Gato, do better. I was just saying, poor Naito. <laughs> yes, poor Naito. This match just should not have even happened. It needed to be scrapped. It needed to be thrown away. Never to be seen again. Naito is so good, though. I mean, he kind of tried. He tried to make it work. Naito's so good that typically he can just make anything work. But just this, it just can't because it just can't. It really just can't. I gave this a two because Naito tried. <laughs> and Naito won! So, our main event. Are you ready for the main event? Are you ready for this? Why do we have a banger early in the fucking card? And you can't make the fucking banger a main event. Gato, I literally hate you with a burning passion. Kenta versus Hiroshi Tanahashi was our main event. Kenta! Kenta is so slow. Kenta. I can't. I can't anymore. I liked him at first. He was fine. There was nothing wrong with him. And now, no. Needs to go. Needs to go. I can't do it. Go. Chill. Tanahashi is high-key selling for him, though. 
Like, y'all, he, tr Tanahashi really tried to sell for this motherfucker, and I don't know why. Like, it don't make sense. Like, sure, Tanahashi tried to sell for Kento, tried to put Kento over, but, like, it's not gonna work. Kento's gotta do it himself. Even if you can try to put him over. Tanahashi tried to keep up the pace here. He tried. Tanahashi tried. And you know what? Good for Tanahashi. I feel so bad for that man. That poor man. He takes three months off to get better. And he comes back to have to do a match with Kenta. I feel so bad for Tanahashi. I feel so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tanahashi. <laughs> I gave this match a three. Cause you know what? Kenta did try a little, and Tanahashi really tried. So you know what? It was mediocre at best. And Tanahashi won. So, go away! Okay, well, that's it for today. Um, let me know what your favorite match was from this from these two nights down below. Also, let me know if you're excited for Power Struggle. Um, eh. We'll talk about it. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like my face be sure to subscribe and if when i upload is that important be sure to hit the notification bell somewhere over there bye bye